Good afternoon everyone, I'm Gary Martin and today we're going to be doing a bit of an experimental video and I'm hoping it's one of its kind, I'm hoping this is the first time it's ever been done on YouTube and I know one person that could probably tell me about that and that's TT, I think he's watched every single video on YouTube so TT get in the comments, let us know has this video been done what we're going to be doing, we're going to be getting Dan testing a driver with four different shafts Four different shafts, they're all different flexes and different weights to see what the performance is like. Yeah. You know, obviously, if somebody's playing with the wrong, you know, club was not, not fitted for them. I think there's yeah. so many amateur golfers out there that have got clubs with the wrong shafts in, but how much is it actually affecting the game? And I think that's the answer that we're going to get today. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm quite interested because the, the shaft I've got at the moment is 65 grams stiff and I've, I don't know which ones he's got. I think he's just got stiff regular and extra stiff, I think. So. Yeah, I mean, I've got, I've got, so, I've got a, a very light senior shaft, I've got a regular shaft, a stiff shaft and an extra stiff shaft. And I think what we're going to see here is the difference that the actual shaft makes. We're going to keep the head consistent and the loft we're going to be actually testing today with a TS3 head, which I think is, you know, a good head for Dan off his handicap. Is now off, are you off seven? Six point six. So yeah. Six point six. They always round it down, don't they? These young ones. Um, so we're going to get this tested on the way. The way it's going to work is Dan's not going to know what shaft he's trying, but you guys will, because I'll pop that up on the screen. And then at the end, we're going to have a look at the numbers and we're going to compare the difference in shafts. Yeah. And see what the difference is. Because I'm actually, I'm intrigued to try this because I've never done it before. No, I've, I, I, I've never been fitted for shafts or anything special like that. So I, I'm, I don't know which way. Well, you're certainly not going to be fitted tonight, Dan. I'm, I'm going to be giving you some of the wrong shafts. Well, shaft. yeah, I know that. But yeah, I'm just interested to see which ones make which difference. Yeah. Well, let's get into it. Let's get stuck in. So, Dan, you're not going to see what shaft you're using here. You guys will. This will pop up on the screen. Let's pop this, this on here. We're using a 10 degree head just for the purpose of this, which is what Dan uses out on the course. We're using a TSI free head, as we said earlier. So you're going to hit four balls for me. All right. All right, and then we're going to switch shafts. Don't look at the shaft, just hit four balls. What do you think is going to happen with this, guys? I want you to get in the comments, you know, what results you think we're going to get. Well done. Yeah, we'll Don't worry one. about your ball flight so much. Yeah, the hooky one. That's, that's it. Right. I mean, I guess what I would assume is that the softer the shaft, the more backspin it's going to create, the higher it's going to go, and you know you're going to get less roll, so you're going to get less total distance. I think, and, and as it gets to the stiffer shafts, I would guess it flies lower. But who knows? Well done. Strike. That's it. it. Feels a bit heavy, this one. Feels heavy. Yeah. I don't know why it's the head. That's on. interesting. It's interesting you say that. Don't know whether it's the weight or anything. It feels heavier than what you've got, does it? Well, it's, this, this feels heavier than the driver I normally use. Yeah. Uh. And how does this rate to your own driver at the minute, would you say? Um, we're looking at that two to the left, one to the right. I don't really have a particular normal shot. It just goes wherever the, I take the club yeah. with the ball, really. It's just... So one more with this shaft, and then we're going to have a little switch. Well done. Well done. So you're swinging about 93 miles per hour, which if I was fitting you for a shaft in a driver, I would probably be looking at something stiff with that club head speed. Now, we're going to switch shafts. I'm not going to tell Dan, you know, what shaft we're going to switch into, but you, you can tell us your feedback if you want. Tell us how yeah. it feels. You guys, it's going to pop up on the screen. 
what we're changing into and we'll see what Dan's feedback is to see if we can pick up on this and it's not just newer golfers that are using the wrong shaft you know there's many a, um, a lower handicap golfers and usually younger golfers that sort of buy off the internet without any yeah. advice or you know they've got that kind of I want an extra stiff shaft and you know I'd be guilty if I said that I'd not done this before, and even you've talked about stiffer shafts, haven't you? Mm, yeah. And you're only, how old are you? I'm only 13. You've, he's 13 and he's talking about extra stiff shafts and it's just... It's not, it, it's not worth it really. We're all a bit guilty of it. Right, I want you to hit a few balls with that one. Wow. Let me just switch it on the computer actually. One second. That feels a lot lighter. Right, when you're ready. That feels a lot lighter. A lot lighter, well that's great feedback. And I've absolutely ripped it. <laughs> well, and, and that's why it's worth trying these things, Dan. Because uh, Brian Ro Roberts once told me something that in his driver, this is somebody that is an absolute beast. You won't want him in an arm wrestle. <laughs> he's got a regular shaft in one of his drivers because he's trying to create distance. Mm. Obviously, when he gets it wrong, you know, it's not it's not very straight. But he's got a regular shaft, and his club head speed's unbelievable. Well done. Wow, that's gone high. Good. T's gone flying everywhere. So we've got two now. And how did you feel like you struck that one? That felt sort of middle toey, sort of about yeah, there maybe. So maybe not your best strike. Not the best strike, it's gone quite high. So. Yeah. Well, you did say it felt like a light shaft, didn't you? Yeah, it does feel a lot lighter than the last one. Yeah, intriguing. It's not real the same sort of shot, really. All different. You're running out of tees. Yeah, they're all going back here. <laughs> we'll have a pick up when I'm switching shafts after this. Yeah, I don't I mean, we've got two shafts to try after this, guys. I, I can't wait for these results, actually, because yeah. although I've got a bit of an inkling of what I think, I'm not, you know, I've never done this test before, so I'm, I don't actually know what's going to happen. Bit of a hooky one. Bit of a hooky one. Yeah, good. Right, let's get a switch. You pick up some tees. Get make sure you got some balls. So again, I'm going to switch shots. I'll put up on the screen, guys, what we're switching into. And uh, I'm looking forward to these results. I am. I'm interested to see what I've what see what our dis differences are between different shots. Are. Now let's just talk a bit daft here. What if the results with like a, a soft regular senior shaft came out best? Would you be interested? I would be interested because it's <laughs> nothing I've been used to. I, put, I, I think the last time I had a lady's shaft was when I was about six years old and my dad just gave me his hand me down thing. Right, big boy. Here you go. I think I know which one this is. So four balls. This feels light as well. Feels light. It should pop up on the screen, guys, what he's got in his hand. Not as light as the last one, but light. That's very interesting. And I've skied it. You've skied it a bit. Well, we'll remember that. A little bit of a miss it with that one. He's only human after all. Destroyed the T. that's awful and how do you feel like you're swinging this you know are you reacting to the shaft or is it just the same are you just swinging it the same well i just it doesn't feel like it's very forgiving it just feels like it feels quite straight at the top like you know how Ooh, you sometimes you get that yeah bend that's at the top you feel that bend a bit and you come down and you just sort of feel it a bit it just feels like it's one solid pole yeah well that's very interesting i think you guys will be guessing now what kind of shaft this is and that's good feedback from you yeah, it just it just feels like nothing, nothing 
sort of flexible, it just feels like a solid metal. And when plane. you get that feeling, you know, take it from me, it's hard to time it. It's hard to say, unless you've got a little bit of bend there, it's hard to get any timing when it feels so stiff. Oh, I'll rip that one though. Hit that one all right, didn't you? Well done. So we're down to his last shaft now. Who's excited for these results? I am. That one felt really good. So it's the, I can't tell you, can I? I'll pop it up on the screen. Yeah. I nearly let the cat out of the bag. Right, your final shaft. And there's been no order at all with these shafts. You know, yeah, so no idea. you've just, I'm just hoping that you've, you know, obviously swung them all the same. Well, I'm guessing your swing might have adapted to some of them, you know, Maybe, yeah. some, if, obviously the lighter one, you might have swung a bit quicker, I'd imagine, we'll see. <laughs> I think I know which one this is. <laughs> wow, that is very wobbly. I really don't, I don't like that. You don't like that one? No, it feels like a cheese string. So I guess, you know, this could be great feedback for somebody that might be buying a shaft blind. You know, Dan could have been that person that's ordered something online and obviously this has arrived and he don't like it. No. And I'll tell you something, this is not so far away from what Dan would probably be fitted into, believe it or not. Hmm. It's not what you're expecting. Yeah, it's really, and, and, and really bendy. Just the, maybe the, the model of it feels wrong. You don't like the feel of it. I just swung that slowly then, just because otherwise it'd snap hooking it over there. Yeah, so you're feeling like you've got to slow your clubs, you know, speed down yeah, a bit. Yeah, just, 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 keep, just to keep it under control. Yeah. Otherwise it's just really whippy. Two to go guys, we're getting to the crunch time. Oh, that were good. That's come off really nice. That nah, came out the middle. Well I, swung that, I swung that a lot slower than I did the other ones. You need a tea, don't you? Dee, you've got this up here, there's one over here. What are these? These must be a Mr. Robinson special. Four inch angled tees. He gets some weird stuff sent to him. Contact ball before tee. I'll put a close up of these in that he's had sent. There's some tees that are 45 degrees. I'll and try one of them. We'll try one. Wow. So let's have a look at these results then. I'm let's interested. have a comparison. I am interested. So we've just had a little bit of a look through these numbers and they're very surprising. I mean, I thought there would have been some sort of pattern from a soft regular shaft to a regular to a stiff to an extra stiff. I would have thought there'd have been some sort of pattern of results, yeah. whether it might be losing distance or you know more spin, but that hasn't been the case. But there is something that I'm, I'm really sort of pleased about because yeah. I think it does show why people should get fitted to drive, and I'll explain that in a minute. So we're recording on this phone just to show you the results. Starting with the soft regular, the Cura cage. So you can see here in this column here, the spin, you've had two there that are really, really high, you know, in spin. You've had two that aren't far off, you know, what we'd expect, you know, for, for you and, and, and the club head speed that you've got. But results wise, you know, distance varying from sort of 193 to 231 at your best. And, you know, a total average distance are here around about sort of 210 yards. And that's with the soft regular shaft. So that was the lighter one, the one that you, you did actually pick up on it being really light. Yeah. When we moved into regular, again, you know, you had one here where your spin was really high, out of control. You've managed to hit some here that are more again like we'd expect for, for the club head speed that you're creating which is around about 90 miles per hour club speed to, sorry distance average 206 
so a little bit less so there's yeah. not really any pattern there is there you know if we move through into stiff here now this is the shaft that you've got in your driver yeah. okay club speed or ball speed wise you've had three here you know round about where you should be one a little bit high but the interesting thing is here you've got an average of 212 total distance which is your best amongst all shafts yeah so that to me is is good because what it's saying is is that fitting and getting the right shaft flex you know obviously it does make a difference yeah as you, as you see there i've been spinning uh, there's the uh club head speed is uh increased there because there's some of them are about 86 mile an hour exactly yeah so it's it's helping you achieve the best club head speed because like you said earlier with some of them shafts you felt that the extra stiff you felt it would, there were no bend in it so you yeah. couldn't time it very well the obviously softer shaft you felt like you even had to slow down didn't you to hit yeah, yeah, some of them shafts otherwise it's been out of control otherwise well, they've been yeah. out of control so getting the right shaft is you know obviously helping down maximize his, his club head speed and feel confident enough in the shaft to hit it you know hard um and then if we go on to extra stiff here you've actually you can see this speed here is really consistent and i know what that is it's because You've obviously felt there were no bend on the first one, which has really slowed you down, hasn't it, on that mm. first one. But then after that, you thought, well, to get this shaft to bend, I'm really going to have to hit it hard. So yeah. it looks like you're here. You've swung the fastest you've ever swung, 95 and 92. But then when you look at the distance, it's only 203. And that's because obviously the shaft's not helping you. It's no. not giving him any help, which you need. You know, you need that little bit of bend to create speed. Yeah. Uh, you know, not, you know, obviously club head speed, not hand speed. But I think you've tried to hit that with brute force, but you've just got nothing from the shaft. So I hope you've enjoyed that video tonight. We're a bit experimental. It's something that I've not done on this channel before. I know James does a lot of, you know, he does a lot of videos like this. Yeah. And uh, I think they're quite good learning. You know, even me, I've played golf 20 years and I've learned something new tonight that having the wrong shaft, you know, can just provide inconsistent results. It can make you swing in a way that you don't want to have to yeah. swing. Like Dan's had to, you know, I've obviously... Compensate for more, a lot of the shafts because... Like the extra stiff one, it, like I said, they just felt no bend and there was just no forgiveness in it. And then you look at something like the, the regular, the light one, I just had to slow down my swing so much otherwise it was just getting too whippy and out of control. So you just got to compensate for it. And I think there'd be a lot of people that are doing that, but they don't actually know they're doing it because they've got nothing to compare against, have they? You know, mm. you could be buying a regular shaft and you could be compensating in your swing to hit that club well, but you don't know any different because you've not actually tried the right shaft. And I think that's, you know, been a great test tonight to prove that, you know, using the right shaft can help you. And, you know, probably in, enhance your pleasure of playing because I'm yeah. sure with that stiff shaft, you just swung and felt comfortable. Yeah, it's what I'm used to. So, you didn't have yeah. to manipulate so much, did you? No, no, it just, it just felt comfortable because it's what I've been swinging with for two years now. So it just felt normal. So we hope you've enjoyed that one, guys. You know, we'll keep these videos coming for you. And we'll see you in a few days' time. Bye. Bye.